just like there are different chambers or rooms for the male and the female members in the palace similarly there are separate male and female parts in a flower the male parts are contained in androsium where andros is a greek word and it means a man and ischium means a house so androsium consists of male parts and one male part is known as a stamen which can be compared to a man now just like a man has a head a stamen has a head which is known as the anther so this part this dark part of the stamen is known as the anther and just like a man has a body similarly a stamen has a body which is known as the filament now suppose the king has many sons now these sons have different kinds of bonding between them now let us take one case where all the princes stay together as a single unit of brotherhood there is a lot of harmony between them similarly there are flowers in which the stamens come together to form a single unit and such uh, an arrangement is known as monadelphus where mon come means single and adelphus means brother now think of this situation that the king has two queens queen 1 has three sons and queen 2 has two sons now these step brothers they stay separately and they don't talk to each other similarly there are flowers like butterfly pea in which there are two groups of stamens see this is one group of stamen and this is another stamen and this arrangement of stamens is known as diadelphus di means two and adelphus means brother now imagine this situation that the king has many queens and each queen has two or three sons now all these step brothers they stay separately now similarly there are flowers like hohair where there are different groups of stamens see there are multiple groups of stamens this is one group this is another group this is the third group fourth group so there are multiple groups of stamens and this arrangement of stamens is known as polyadelphus poly means many and adelphus means brother now can you recognize this famous bollywood actor by just looking at one side of his face yes it is the famous mr amitabh bachchan now look at the other side of his face see it is completely same this is because a human head is bilaterally symmetrical which means it is symmetrical or similar on both the sides similarly the head of a stamen which is known as an anther is also bilaterally symmetrical that is it has two equal halves see if you cut an anther midway this portion 
is similar to this portion. Now, an anther is not only bilaterally symmetrical from outside, it is also similar from inside. See? And these equal halves are known as lobes. Now, each lobe has two pollen sacs. So, in total, there are four pollen sacs. Now, what do these sacs contain? Well, these pollen sacs contain pollen grains. See? These spherical structures which are very critical for reproduction. These are the various arrangements of stamen. Stamens are present Inside the androsium, which is the male part of a flower. Now, if the stamens are fused together to form a single unit, then that arrangement is known as monadelphus. Now, if the stamens form two groups, then that arrangement is known as diadelphus. And if the stamens form multiple groups, then that arrangement of stamens is known as polyadelphus. Now, why are some people allergic to the smell of flowers? Well, this is because while smelling a flower, the pollen grains enter into the nostrils and cause allergic reactions in the people who are prone to allergies.